Welcome to my YouTube channel if you guys are new here. And may the force be with you guys. So, welcome to another one of my videos. Um, this is one of my Star Wars chats. Um, also, in case you guys would like to, um, my, let's see, my Twitter account is... Let me, let me do something here, excuse me. My Twitter account is Knight underscore of underscore R E and those are capital lowercase v lowercase a capital N okay if you guys catch that uh, maybe you may pause the video if you want um, for oh forgot the ad symbol okay so if you guys have a Twitter account uh, follow me there and if not you make a Twitter account it's not really that difficult um, I made mine back in 2015 and I haven't really used it at all for the past uh, I'd say about three years and uh, I really um, like Twitter uh, there's a lot of uh, uses for it uh, such as following all your role models favorite people like celebrities uh, such as singers artists uh, you name it directors actors um, and me I follow a uh, couple scientists um, I did follow Stephen Hawking uh, when I heard about his death I just got depressed about that and I don't think I follow him I'm not sure um, Michio Kaku is another one of uh, my favorite scientists. He's an astrophysicist and college professor, I do believe. Um, so, uh, you know, I follow a lot of people um, more than people who follow me, actually. <laughs> um, doesn't mean I'm a follower more than a leader, uh, just so you know. Um, <laughs> okay, well, that may be the case now, but... Um, I'm trying to lead, I'm trying to be a good leader, um, inspire people with my YouTube channel. See, the thing is, what I like to do is, um, see, first of all, I gotta give a shout out to Star Wars Explained. His YouTube channel has inspired me so much to learn more about Star Wars and Thanks to his videos, back even way back to when he, his channel was Star Wars Minute, uh, way back in 2014, 2015, and he's made so many videos about canon and legends and um, just a lot of trivia facts about Star Wars. Um, that has inspired me to do even more research than I have been. For the past 20 some years that I've been a Star Wars fan. Um, also, another one of my favorite channels for Star Wars is Urban Acolyte. Uh, check him out. That's Urban Acolyte. And uh, this dude, I follow him on Facebook and Twitter, and he's awesome as hell. His name is Prince Bell, and uh, he's inspired me too. And here's why he uses geekdom. Being a fan of such as Marvel, Star Wars, and stuff, and he used to do a couple Dragon Ball Z videos, but I'm not really a, a big fan of Dragon Ball Z at all. I really, I actually kind of hate it. Um, and he does martial art videos. And here's the thing I like about him is he applies his fandom, his favorite things such as Star Wars and Marvel and stuff. And Bruce Lee, old Bruce Lee movies, and applies it to real life. Um, and extracts leg um, 
lessons uh, from Star Wars, stuff like that, and apply it to real life religion, uh, The Hero's Journey by Joseph Campbell, which is what Star Wars was based off of in the beginning. Uh, 1976 when George Lucas started doing Star Wars before 1977 when it was released um, and it's inspired by a lot of martial arts stuff and uh, Tibetan monks and, and Buddhism and just everything just George Lucas is a creative genius and by the way if you guys haven't checked out um, or noticed Today is Dave Filoni's birthday. Um, this guy is another creative genius who's worked with George Lucas since 2008, uh, up until 2011, almost. Um, uh, shortly before Disney took over in 2012, and they worked on Clone Wars together, uh, the series that was on Cartoon Network um, back in 2008. And um, sadly, it was canceled in 2012 when Disney took over, but uh, a lot of it was continued in early uh, drawings and storyboards for um, episodes that didn't make the final cut and uh, didn't make it into the final season. The ones that were finished were put into a thing called The Lost Missions, and um, that's technically, I just call it season six, because, you know, there's five complete seasons, but... I consider The Lost Mission Season 6 pretty much. Um, so Dave Filoni helmed that show. Also, he did Star Wars Rebels in 2014. And just a couple months ago was the ending of Season 4 of Star Wars Rebels. And it's an amazing show. It's it's another awesome show. Um, it delves deeper into the Force and stuff. So... If you're a fan of the Force and uh, the Rebellion starting and uh, going up against the Empire and it's before the events of Rogue One and up until actually has some parts that go all the way up to Return of the Jedi and I just don't want to spoil anything but um, it's an awesome show. So if you're interested in that time period around the original trilogy I suggest check that out too. Um, what else would I like to talk about today? Well here's the okay the current state of the fandom <clears throat> excuse me i have to <clears throat> get comfortable for this because this is a um extremely popular topic as of late especially within the past couple months with solo um yeah, so May 25th marked the release for Solo Star Wars Story. The movie is just re was released, which is not doing good at all in the box office. Um, it's been a while since the movie has actually done this bad, as far as I'm concerned, as far as I can remember. And this is the is is also uh, the lowest money-making Star Wars movie to date uh, ever in the history of Star Wars movies and it's been around for 41 years and that is unbelievable and it's very sad because it, it's it's not good if you're a Star Wars fan to see a movie suffer it's it's very unfortunate and it's been boycotted. Uh, theaters were empty for the most part. For well, not the most part. I mean, a lot of people did see it. I mean, there was a red carpet event, and it was shown at the Cannes Film Festival for the first time. A Star Wars movie has been shown there for the first time in 15, 16 years since Episode Three. That was the last time any Star Wars movie was shown at the Cannes Film Festival. And it was shown there about two weeks early. Um, and it's got mixed reviews. The so uh, solo movie, uh, that is. 
I'm not sure as if uh, it's mainly part of the boycotts. Here's what I think. The Last Jedi has left a bad taste in everybody's mouth, so they feel that, why go see the Solo movie? Plus, there was people that didn't like that Harrison Ford wasn't no longer part of it. So you have that. Plus, Memorial Day weekend isn't really the best time to release a movie. It's sort of like a curse for any uh, movie that you want to make money. Um, thank God Avengers Infinity War came out before Memorial Day, a couple weeks beforehand, actually. And actually, no, the end of April. So, and, and it's still doing good. Um, let's see, what else? What other movies? Deadpool 2 didn't make that much either. Huh. Yeah, so the thing is with the current state of the fandom is a lot of people are torn as to whether Kathleen Kennedy should step down or not. Even the people who like the Disney Star Wars and the last three or four movies they've done. Uh, I have mixed feelings about it. Recently, I do not like her work. In the beginning, Force Awakens and Rogue One, uh, that was an awesome time. I loved both of those movies. Uh, I don't care what anyone says about The Force Awakens. I think it's a really good movie. Um, I think Rogue One was excellent. Um, <clears throat> and a lot of people complained about fan service, I noticed. But fan service is what we need because it connects canon. You have the books, comic books, video games, and such, and all the movies and everything. And everything has to connect somehow. So you need, to some extent, fan service. Um, that movie has gotten a lot of good reviews, and I'd say about 80% of the fans enjoyed that movie quite a bit. I, I know I did. Uh, I think I've seen that twice. I've seen Force Awakens twice when it came out in theaters. Uh, maybe three times, I think. Yeah. So, uh, in the beginning, I loved it. Uh, the Last Jedi came around, and I didn't know what to think at first. And I really liked it, uh, once I thought about it. But as the months dragged by, um, I noticed I didn't care for how they treated Luke. Um the director just did what he wanted to do and just threw every fan theory, every expectation straight out the window. I mean, he threw it out the window out of a ship going hyperspace, light speed, slamming into a star and just exploding everybody's expectations. And some of that, to some extent, is fine. I mean, you don't want a totally predictable movie. You like something with a twist and turn to it. But the way he treated Luke, I, I, I don't care for it. Um, that is not really the topic of my discussing today. Uh, I would like to more so discuss mainly you guys down in the comments section or on my Twitter or something. Uh, let, let's just talk about what needs to be done. A lot of people think, me, myself included, that Dave Filoni should run Lucasfilm. If Kathleen Kennedy's going to step down or be fired or quit or whatever, um, or respectfully resign, I, I think she might just resign and put in a resignation. She's in her early 60s, actually, and even though she don't look like it. And it's not just about age. It's just about the current state is, is, is not good. Not good. With Solo losing money in the box office, they actually lost a lot of money, millions of dollars, even though they've certainly made their money back. I mean, they bought Star Wars for over $4 billion, so I, I think they're pretty set. And... As far as I'm concerned, one movie out of four movies that does bad, that's not really that, you know, that's okay. That's that, 
it's only one movie that's losing money. The thing is, it's just, it's the fans. There's a civil war going on with a lot of fans that just um, are torn between liking or hating The Last Jedi. And I don't agree with that. I don't agree with the fans arguing with each other, hating each other because of the likes or dislikes of the last two movies, three movies or whatever. In the sequel trilogy, I just, I think fans should just band together and respect everybody's opinion. And if you don't like it, just ignore what other people are saying, you know, before you get belligerent and disrespect other fans. Which reminds me of what happened recently with Kelly Marie Tran. She played Rose in The Last Jedi, and on her Instagram, she was about ready to delete her account because fans were giving her death threats and, and just totally disrespecting her, um, putting her down as a person, and, and that is highly unnecessary, and that is just sick to see how fans can just be so rude and everything and you can hashtag force out hate on Twitter if you want um, it doesn't matter if you don't like the hatred of going on amongst the fans and everybody getting along and not getting along uh, that's one thing but if you're going to totally disrespect somebody as a person in real life because of a fictional character they played in a movie Get a life. Seriously. What are these people thinking? I mean, um, I can do videos on this all day. But it's not going to change how disgusting people can be. And, and just how um, rude and sickening uh, not just fans can be, but human beings. That's just nasty human being uh, behavior. You you don't disrespect an actor or actress because of the role they played. They gotta follow the ways that the, the the they're directed by the director for the movie. It's not their fault, you know. Uh, sometimes it is because they you know improvise and and actually give input to their character. But regardless, I mean, it's not the actor or actress. It's the character you don't like. So, so what? That doesn't mean you hate on the actual person in real life. That's just totally disrespectful. She had to delete all of her uh, things that she posted because of the comments, the hate comments. It's just, got, it's just unreal. And, and then everybody wants um, Kathleen Kennedy, the president of Lucasfilm, to step down and, and everybody's boycotting the... the solo movie and everybody's just flipping out and everything's just up in an uproar recently and I can understand a lot of people hated The Last Jedi but a lot of people loved it too and it did make over two billion dollars so it was financially successful you can't argue that but it doesn't change the fact that a lot of people are upset and I can understand the upset I, I don't understand the hate. Um, there shouldn't be any hate amongst fans, between fans, with the actors. Um, you have hateful uh, thoughts. Keep them to yourself. As our mothers always teach us growing up, if you don't have nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. And that goes for fans. I don't care how much of a fan you are and you say that this ruined your childhood and blah, 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 blah. Well, guess what? There's kids out there that their childhood is actually really ruined because of real life situations. So don't take a fictional franchise or stories and, and, and movies and, and when they get ruined, say, oh, my childhood's ruined. That's just irresponsible and, and immature and disrespectful to people whose actual childhoods were ruined. And if you're going to make a big deal about a movie, to the point where you're going to disrespect 
the people that play in the movie and send them death threats and, and hate comments on social media, then uh, you don't deserve to be a fan. And that puts a bad name to any fan. Um, the news media, just last year or a couple years ago, um, put down a Star Wars fan. Um, and it wasn't... I don't think they meant to do that. But it just... It, it, it looked that way to a lot of fans. And a lot of fans banded together and said that was disrespectful. Well, guess what? It's ironic now. And, and, and the tables are now flipped. Because now the fans are being disrespectful as fuck. And disrespecting the people who are in the movie is totally unnecessary. And that's just a toxic human being. If, if you're going to act like that, then you don't deserve to be a fan. Hate all you want on the movie. Like what you want, not like what you want. That's just part of being a fan. You know, you can't like every game that your favorite football team is in. You know, if they do bad, you you can admit it. The same goes with movies. You know, not, not every movie is for everybody. Some movies people like more than others. And some books and comic books people like more than others. Not everything is for everyone. Um, every person has their tastes and... Opinions are like assholes. Everyone has one. Um, but the hate between the fans and everything is just unnecessary. Um, another thing we have to remember is most of us adults that are into Star Wars got into it as kids. So today's generation of kids has, you know, has a Star Wars generation of their own. That's getting them into being a fan. And a lot of kids loved the new movies, whether you guys, me, or whatever, liked them or not. A lot of kids love these movies because they're growing up with these movies right now. This is their Star Wars. Let's let them have it. We may not like what's going on. We may love what's going on. We may hate what's going on. No matter the case... We got into Star Wars as kids, so let's let these kids get into Star Wars in this generation. So that when they get older and get our age, they can say, you know what, I grew up with Star Wars too. Disney is a company that has always been marketed towards younger people. Teenagers, kids people coming of age to give them life lessons to learn and good stories to read and watch on the cartoons and, and movies and everything they put out. Let's take that into consideration here. Disney owns Star Wars. And way before Disney even owned Star Wars, way back when George Lucas first created it, he created it for 12-year-olds, specifically for people coming of age, so they know life lessons that can be taken from these movies and apply them to real life, so they have morals and values. Those are what got us into Star Wars as kids, whether you know about the morals and values and, and notice them or not. Um, we got into Star Wars as kids. And those morals and values and lessons that we've seen in the movies, most of us applied them to real life. A lot of us didn't, apparently, because a lot of fans just want to hate. Well, guess what? Grow the hell up, everybody. Hashtag force out hate. Follow it on Twitter. I am. Um, I recently started to dislike The Last Jedi because after a while I just couldn't take the fact that Luke his, his character is just totally destroyed for the movie um, it's been 30 years since we've seen him in Return of the Jedi and that's in real life and in the timeline in Star Wars 
Force Awakens and Last Jedi take place right around the same time. And it's it takes place in a setting within the Star Wars universe 30 years, 30 to 32 years after Return of the Jedi. And in real life, that same time has passed since Mark Hamill has actually played Luke Skywalker. Um, so with that long of a time period passing by, somebody is going to change. People get grumpy when they get older. Doesn't mean I like it. it doesn't mean uh, it doesn't change the fact that uh, I don't like the way Luke's character is uh, in the Last Jedi. Uh, you know, I I had mixed feelings about it at first, and then I understood. Well, gee, he's depressed. He's he's a broken man. You know, let's give him a break. People change after 30 years. But you know what? After a couple months passed, I just it just started to hit me. And, and it, you know, depressed me to see one of my favorite characters as a kid who I looked up to as a hero um, become this way. It wasn't what I expected. But do I hate on Mark Hamill? And, and do I hate on the people who were in the movie? In real life, the actual people who played the... No. And that is uncalled for, that people have to do that. Um, Daisy Ridley, the girl who played Rey. Around the time Force Awakens came out, a lot of people did not like her character because, oh, she's perfect, she's a girl, and she knows how to do everything, and uh, she makes the men look like idiots, and she's a Mary Sue and all this stuff. Well, whatever the case or cause may be, Whatever you think of her, that's fine and dandy. But don't disrespect her on Instagram and her social media, like her Facebook and stuff. She had, she deleted her accounts. She's not on social media because of all the hate she's received. And I don't understand. Um, dislike or like or love or hate the character, however much you want. That's your prerogative. Um, I'm going to leave no comment on that, but, you know, it is what it is. All I can say is, you know, I'm not going to leave any comments on the character. Um, I'm not even going to express my views about these new movies because if I get any hate comments, um, I'm just going to have to block you and report you, you know, and, and don't watch my channel. You don't like my videos? Fine. You like them? Fine. You love him or hate him, fine with me. It doesn't matter either way. Um, and I'm not doing this for the money. You know, my channel gets popular. I would be making money off of it, but that's not why I'm here. And to be frank, if you don't like what I have to say, whether you like it or not, whose name is on the channel? Last I checked, it was me. I'm not trying to be sarcastic or, or cocky or anything, but, you know, this is my channel and, and I make the videos I make and make the videos I want. Uh, you guys can even suggest videos I can make. A lot of times I don't know what videos to make. You guys want to give me advice as to what videos I, uh, that I should make? By all means, give me that advice. It helps. I'm, I'm a humble person and, and, and I am, you know, I have morals and I was brought up right. So I can take criticism, I can take uh, opinions, and I can take advice. Everybody can use some form of advice. Um, in the last video I did where I talked, uh, I asked for advice as to what kind of equipment to use for my YouTube channel, like if, if I wanted to get a camera or a microphone or any kind of professional computer software to edit my videos. Um, I blatantly said uh, several times within the video, if you guys have any advice, please let me know. Uh, I'm willing to take any kind of, uh, you know, help. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and pretend to be perfect. You know, I am a normal human being. I have flaws and, and I'm not perfect and I don't know how to do everything. No one knows how to do everything, you know, and 
it's the same the same goes with the fandom no one has the same opinions not one fan out there has the same views as another and um if you can't take advice criticism and stuff and whatnot what the hell are you doing you know so this is just the start of the discussion um but i do want to have a I do want to ask a question before this video is done and before I cut it off. I'm interested to see what you guys would like to see. Um, I would like to personally, per personally me, if Kathleen Kennedy was to be fired or quit tomorrow, which it's rumored she's going to do that in September of this year, or by, sept by September, excuse me. If that's the case, I'd like to see... I want to see Dave Filoni run the creative part of Lucasfilm. This guy knows his stuff. He knows the universe and the canon inside and out. He's worked personally with George Lucas on several occasions uh, doing the Clone Wars series. And he's pretty much the heir apparent, in, in my opinion. He, he's pretty much George Lucas' apprentice. He, he's worked with... You know, who knows? He probably knows just as much, if not more, than George Lucas does. So who knows? Um, that's the question uh, for today. Who do you guys want to see to run Lucasfilm if Kathleen Kennedy steps down? Leave your thoughts, opinions, comments, or whatever down below. Questions, whatever. Ridiculous comments, hate comments, however... Take them, okay? Wrap them in toilet paper and flush them down a toilet because I'm not going to deal with that on my channel. Um, that's all I have to say. A lot of fans, the way they're acting right now just sickens me. If you don't like a character in a movie, that's fine. That's totally fine. And it's not just fine because I said it is. It's obvious. Everybody has their own opinions. But don't hate on the actual person playing that character. If you do, then get a life. This is Night of Revan. Peace out, everybody. Take care. Have fun. Enjoy yourself, and I don't know what else to say. May the force be with you, all of you, and let's be respectful. 